Hello, I want to talk to you a little bit today, folks, about the significance of Juneteenth and what it means to celebrate it today. September 22nd, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation. The Emancipation Proclamation does not go into effect until January 1st of 1863. President Lincoln has decided that in order for the Union to be preserved, that he must weaken the South and strengthen the Union. And in order to do that, he immediately, through the Emancipation Proclamation, sets free 50,000 enslaved Africans. Now that is a drop in the bucket to the four million slaves who are still in, in captivity. But nonetheless, he does so because politically speaking, he understands that it's important to garner more troops, those Africans, some of which are free and some of which who are still enslaved to come and fight for the union. Now, Abraham Lincoln is constrained, if you will, halted between two opinions. And he actually says this, if I could save the Union without freeing any slaves, I'd do it. If I could save the Union by freeing all of the slaves, I'd do that too. If I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would do it. And so Abraham Lincoln was concerned about the Union and any means that he could use to preserve the Union, then he would. We know through the course of the Civil War, there were fights, there were skirmishes, uh, pockets, large pockets of resistance throughout the Deep South. Galveston, Texas was not one of those states that was omitted from that stronghold, that oppressiveness of slavery. And in some cases, masters dug in even deeper against their slaves to show that even though the, the president of the union has said that you all are free, you're not going to be free. You're never going to be free. You're going to continue to toil and labor for free on our plantations, in our fields, picking cotton, and basically telling the slaves that life will continue as it always had been. But on June 19th, 1865, through the collaboration of freed and enslaved Africans who fought for the Union, as a result of that proclamation going forward, the stronghold of the South was broken. And on June 19th, 1865, General Gordon Granger and his troops boldly come into Galveston, Texas and declare to those enslaved Africans that they are now free. And so his proclamation reads like this, and this is important to know, this is one of the first things that he does when he comes into the city of Galveston, Texas. He says, the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves the absolute equality of rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves, and the connection therefore existing between them becomes that between employer and laborer. Juneteenth was actually given that name because there was no certainty about the actual date in some circles. But Juneteenth nonetheless has taken on that name and it remains today because of the victory on the 19th of June in 1865, the liberation that came, the freedom that came. 
immediately there were songs that broke out. There were celebrations that broke out on that day in Galveston, Texas. That day has also become known as Freedom Day, as Jubilee Day, and Emancipation Day. And so today when we reflect and we look back on all of the sacrifices that were made so that we can enjoy what we as African Americans see as freedoms gained, we understand that there's so much more work to do and that we literally stand on the shoulders of giants. And so today we're celebrating. We understand that we have so much more work to do. We are obligated to stand up and to say that the best is yet to come. Peace and power. Happy Juneteenth.